Hello, my name is Bear J, and this is Black Desert Mobile Strategy Channel exclusively for F2P players. Uh, this is a fifth video under the title of First 30 Day Strategy for F2P Players. Uh, today we'll be talking about the market. Um, in the third video, I believe when I was starting to explain about the camp, uh, I have mentioned that uh, Black, uh, Black Desert Mobile is one of the most F2P uh, friendly MMORPG game in Korean market right now for the last two years. And uh, two main factor uh, for that is the market and the camp. And the reason why market and the camp are the, the main factor is because those are the money cow uh, to make the silver coins. Uh, the silver coin in the Black Desert market, uh, Black Desert uh, mobile, is uh, um, is a resource that you can collect uh, in uh, various way, and uh, this is the main uh, resources that you use to purchase the items. And uh, Black Desert Mobile does allow silver coin to be used very widely compared to other uh, games where they have a lot of limitations for the uh, event money that you uh, you collect. So um, so having said that, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the market in the Black Desert Mobile. And uh, if you go into the market, market itself, uh, contents of market itself is very um, straightforward, it's easy to use. Uh, what is important here is that understanding how market operates and capitalizing on it. And um, market uh, in this game uh, works just like a market uh, in the real life. Um, if there are more demand, it becomes more expensive. If there are more supplies, uh, it becomes cheaper. Uh, but there are a couple of the variables that, they, that you will not find in the real market. Uh, the first one is um, uh, each item does have a maximum price and minimum price. So if there's a rare item that people are willing to buy for uh, 10 million uh, silver coin, uh, but uh, if there's a cap on 2 million, then you cannot really sell uh, that item for anything more than 2 million. The good example is pet. Uh, the pet is a very rare item uh, in this uh, in this. Uh, game, especially in the beginning of the game, uh, but you cannot sell the pet uh, for more than two uh, two million. Um, if you look at, uh, let's see, if uh, let me try to sell one of them. Um, this weapon, blue weapon, uh, is set at minimum price thirty eight thousand and maximum price at forty six thousand. Even at the minimum, I'm sure that this. Um, this weapon will not sell, but they do. Uh, they do have this uh, max and minimum uh, set to regulate this uh, market. And also, um, I cannot confirm this fact, but uh, the while I've been playing for the last two years in Korean server, um, uh, uh, hearing what people are saying and seeing what's happening in the market, there is a serious doubt that the developer does intervene. In the market, when there's uh, some items that they uh, they need the users to have, but there's they have no other way of uh, letting them have it, they do put that on the market. And also, um, some of the some of the items that uh, nobody would really buy, those do get purchased out of blue. I, I put stuff that thinking that this will not sell, and there are too many items out there, but it does get sell. And the people do believe the develop, developer does get involved on it, but I cannot confirm this fact. Um, uh, the last uh, variable is that there are always those whales and uh, beginners uh, who will do a random thing. The whales buying the, the buying the items that own uh, that can be only purchased by the wiper and the selling it at the random uh, selling it at the random price. And there are also noobs, and I mean, I'm sorry, the beginners who's gonna purchase the item that uh, I did not think uh, anybody is gonna purchase. For example, here, um, right now, I'm about um, two and a half weeks into the game, and this uh, soft launch has uh, started about a month ago, I believe. 
and um, everybody, pretty much everybody has uh, has a purple accessories. Uh, so nobody should be really buying uh, this uh, blue accessories, but it does. Uh, and I listed it anyway, just in case somebody wanted to buy it. And there are tons of this on the market right now, but uh, it does sell. Uh, it does sell at times, not all the time. So it does not hurt to just uh, list something, just. Uh, just to um, make sure that nobody will buy. So uh, you might gonna get lucky and uh, somebody will buy. So um, so going further on how this uh, works. And uh, so let me go into a example on uh, main, uh, main weapon, sub weapon and uh, defense armor. In the very beginning of the game, if you're the early starter, if you, if they do have a grand launch on December uh, 11th, I believe, and you start on that day, and uh, within uh, within a day or so, you will be well, uh, well on your way to getting either purple or you you'd be on a blue with a couple hours or so. Um, so uh, once you're on a blue, and if you have to get any other uh, the blue weapons that you already have, you already have, uh, say that you already have. Uh, one of the uh, blue weapons, and you got one of the you got one of the blue weapon as a loot. Uh, then you should be listing those for those who will be starting a couple of days later. Um, uh, at that time, those uh, blue weapons will sell, and a little bit uh, later, once you go on to the purple, uh, then the uh, blue will sell less, and the probably price will go down because there are not that many people who will be buying those. Uh, but uh, for the purple, if you already have one, you should be putting it on the market um, to get more server. So you kind of have to figure out how the market is moving, who is buying, if there are new beginners coming in, uh, who will be willing to um, uh, buy the items that you don't really need. However, right now, after about a one, uh, one month of um, uh, soft launch, um, uh, nobody will really buy anything other than the yellow weapons or defense armor. So right now, those are those are listed, and uh, it is very unlikely they will be selling any of this uh, blue or purple. Uh, even if they do, it's going to be pretty cheap. Um, I can give you a um, uh, another extreme example in the in the armor. So uh, if you look at my second video, which is uh, talking about the uh, gear and the equipment, um, I have mentioned that uh, your your objective and uh, your your uh, first goal, first real goal, uh, should be getting a purple uh, armors and main weapon and sub weapon. Um, uh, for the details, you can look at the video, and I will also have a detailed. Uh, uh, videos about those later, uh, but uh, my point here is that if you, um, for example, look at the glove here. In the very beginning of the game, orange at this point of the game uh, does not come out as a loot. You cannot get this in the field. So only time that you're gonna get the orange is from the shaka two. Uh, from the shaka two draw, um, there will be two kind of people who will have. Uh, orange um, armor is first one is those who are very very lucky and uh, they somehow drew uh, orange weapon or armor uh, from a very limited gold coin and uh, but there are I'm sorry there are other ones who will be um, who will be a whale who uh, pay, to, uh, pay to win players who will have a lot of uh, uh, coins invested on it, and uh, they will um, they will have orange uh, uh, armors uh, more than one, and they'll start to sell it. Uh, in the very beginning of the in the very beginning of uh, this game, in the on the first maybe into the into the second week, I saw the gloves uh, selling on not this one. This is uh, two crystal uh, glove. Uh, let me find the one crystal glove. Uh, there you go. So one crystal glove, uh, orange one crystal glove. This one was selling at uh, 14 uh, million uh, million silver coins. 
and that lasted quite a while for the and the, probably well into the second week. Then you start to go up. Now in, a, in about a month uh, after the game started, this is uh, selling at 71 million silver coin. It has uh, more than quadrupled in the in the in the price because now after about a month, everybody has a yellow um, glove and everybody is now looking for the orange glove. So now the, the demand has gone skyrocketed. Uh, in the last week or so, and uh, there are not that many people who are willing to sell this uh, because now they realize how valuable this orange uh, uh, armor is. So uh, this glove, um, if you can manage yourself to somehow put together 15 million uh, silver coins only on, you could buy, you could purchase that at that point, and then. Uh, you can either use it or you can uh, wait, uh, wait it out and sell it uh, for that much of a profit. So, um, so yeah, the, so uh, the in summary, basically, um, the importance of the market is you being able to uh, predict the market, uh, how, uh, reading the trend and the predict the market, just like uh, in the just like in the real life. And if you are able to do so, uh, with the help of probably uh, uh, the reviewers uh, and, the, and the YouTubers like myself or some other ones, then if you are on point, you'll be able to profit a lot of servers here and probably and also, uh, and also you'll be able to score a very good item at a third cheap price if you pick the right timing. So, um, so market uh, will be extremely valuable for you to make a lot of servers and also to score uh, good items at a third cheap price. Um, before I finish it off, if I just uh, point out a couple of the um, couple of the tricks here, and you are able to. Um, uh, for an order on an item that you want, uh, let's see, for example, consumables. Uh, you had the, like this one. There's a lady out there. This one is actually already sold. So <clears throat> the green green portion, which is for the stamina, which is very rare, and um, you will uh, you will see the need for it later. And uh, so if you want this, you can go in there and place an order. Uh, since uh, there are not much, there were, this one is not going to allow you to do so. Let me see if, I, if they, I can do it from here. Yes. So they will give you a, a price and how much you want. You order them. And uh, after you order them, it goes into your order. Right here, I placed uh, 10, uh, 10 of them in order. And uh, once it comes in the market, if somebody does not snatch it, as soon as it comes out of the, on the market, if after a certain period of time, uh, the, it, then it's going to go to the uh, orders and uh, it's going to be uh, sold to you automatically, then you can collect it from here. And don't worry about uh, putting it up. Uh, if you want anything, you can go ahead and do this. This is like your bank. If you want to cancel it, uh, you can. You can cancel it at any time. Um, you can go ahead and withdraw the order, then you're going to get the money back. So uh, go ahead and utilize this uh, order system here. And also, um, uh, for some of the items, like, uh, for example, here, uh, you see how, um, how Blackstone is divided into those two. Uh, or four of them and six of them, and it's exactly the same item because one of them is sellable and the other is not. Uh, so, uh, spirit bound, one of them is um, uh, marked as a spirit bound. You cannot sell those. Four of those that does not have mark, uh, you can sell it. If you go into market, you can confirm that. Uh, go into the market, my item, sell it. Go into here, boom. Four of them you can problem that does not have a spring bound on it you can actually uh, sell those um, sell those if you want okay so that's it for today